Yow! What's up, ladies and gentlemen? So, right now, I am mighty pissed off. <sighs> yeah, so I got a lot of emotion right now, uh, a lot of stuff going on, but I just got to lay it out there and I got to get it off my chest and I got to explain to you guys what's going on, um, tell you what the situation is, why I'm mad, why, why things are how they are. So, basically, as I laid out, in a Team Fortress TV uh, two weeks ago, I uh, put down there that you know we were not going to work with the ESEA this season. That we were really disappointed in ESEA's continued um, dismissive attitude of uh, broadcasting TF2, getting the casters, getting the streamers, getting things organized, um, spreading the word of the community, spreading exposure, bigging up their sponsors. All of these really good, important things. Um, they talked a lot of talk in the seasons of the past about, yay, you know, this season we got all these great things for TF2, we're doing all this awesome stuff, and then they never really developed. And one of those awesome things that they always talked about was shoutcasting. Um, they, they put a little bit of effort into it um, the last couple lands, and, and we were involved in that effort. I'm appreciative of BSEA. Um, they weren't able to secure it. For us this season um, I've laid out some of the things about that in the post um, and I really strongly feel that you know um, myself my organization and the community as a whole shouldn't deal with ESCA if they're not getting paid to, to be the casters to be the streamers to be there for 12 hours on Saturday to big up the sponsors to put up a professional coverage for ESCA um, basically, I feel that you know anybody else that's in, involved with it, um, I, I feel like that if they want to get the most out of it and get their name out of there, they should just cast it. They should just do it. Um, I, I don't, I, I, I really don't believe that this is the way, you know. And I feel strongly about that. Um, but I'm also, you know, I'm, I'm flexible to other people's opinions and other people's stuff and other people's thoughts. Um, I want to bring the community together. That's what I'm always about. That's what I've always been about. When going forward with this uh, and with ESEA and, and this situation, you know, two weeks ago we made this decision, uh, if not more than two, two weeks ago, that uh, we wanted to cast this for the sake of the community on our own channel. We wanted to do it there. We wanted to make it big. ESEA was not interested in making this land, this stream of TF2 as big as it possibly could be by flying myself and Sea Bear out there. That's what we pitched out there. They had no budget for casting TF2. Now, what I'm really upset about, and I don't blame TF2, I don't blame ESEA for it, and I also still personally like these people. Um, I can be very mad, but I still uh, don't personally like this. I'm, I'm, I'm mad about this. I'm mad on the way that it went about, and I'm mad that it was handled, and I'm really pissed off. Um, basically what, what I came home to this evening, and I'm a really busy person, dude. I don't, um, I don't have a whole lot of time for this. I work a 40 hour job, um, in the kitchen and that's actually, I just got put on salary. Um, I'm moving up in the ladder there. It's going really well, but I'm very busy there. I haven't had as much time as I'd like to plan the land. Um, I come home and I'm like, okay, you know, I, I relaxed this weekend. I took time off. I just had a good shift at the restaurant. I'm going to come home, I'm going to jump on my exercise bike, and then I'm going to work on this land thing and getting this together. Instead, I come home to mad drama and find out that of these people that agreed two weeks ago to help XTV and make this an amazing community cast of this land, focused on the community, focused on how kick-ass TF2 is, and not hyping ESEA. Because ESEA isn't putting anything in, they're not putting resources into this activity. They're not actually supporting casters. Now they have this stream link on the side, and I will admit, Calcum came to me tonight, and hey, was like, oh hey, you know, you should be up here. The sad thing is that that's the first time anyone from ESEA actually helped me in any helpful, meaningful way of promoting our stream or promoting our contents, of actually giving us a path to get there. Like, oh yeah, well, we'll, we, we'll repost your stuff on ESEA News. Like, okay, like, do it, you know? Here's my top 10. Like, you saw the other top 10 come out. It's out. Do it. Like, RK sees our posts. We're active in the community. Um, ESCA is not trying to build exposure in this way. But, 
you know, today, um, the news I came home to, and also the announcement that ESEA is going to be hosting an ESEA Orange stream of TF2. That's cool. I don't mind. Um, that's cool. That's like, obviously, how I see it is that they wanted us to do their professional stream. We gave them an offer, and we said, we want, you know, to do this. We want this to be able to do that. And they said, oh, no, sorry, but will you guys still do it for free? Mm, no. No, we're not going to cast on ESC8 Orange for free. We're not going to, we're not your volunteers. You are a business. I'm not going to work 12 hours for you, for ESEA, for free on a Saturday. I'm not going to do my, my whole weekend for ESEA. I am going to devote my whole weekend to the land for the community for free. You know, like, that's where we're at. I'm not doing it for ESEA. I'm doing it for the community. I'm doing it for free. And um, when we made this decision, I'm like, you know, we need to get the best. We need to get the brightest. I want to make sure that everybody's on board on this. I go talk to C Bear. I go talk to TJC. I talk to Lang. I talk to Sean Bud. And I didn't get to talk to Sigma, but um, reached out with him in this bus and was like, hey, this is the one guy I haven't gotten to talk to yet. Um, is he down? And he's like, oh, yeah, yo, I'm down. <sighs> then I find out today, two weeks later, with no word from anybody, that in fact, um, Lang, Sean Bud, DJC, uh, Sigma, and Seabear are all going to be casting on ESCA Orange. Um, now this is super upsetting um, because, I mean, this is how I find out about it. Everything's already locked and set and in place. And they're like, oh, sorry, decision's been made, you know. And it, it really feels like being pissed on because I was trying to work together with these guys and with other people in the community to make this an awesome event, an awesome coverage, an awesome stream that nobody had to burn themselves out for. Um, that Lang doesn't have to sit behind his computer for 13 hours and be tied to his computer all day. I mean, I guess he wants to do it for free for ESEA which is his decision, which is why I'm still okay with these guys, but I'm really fucking pissed off at how they went about it. It's completely unprofessional, um, and it, it creates divisions within the community, and it keeps creates anger and frustration and tensions, all sorts of bad things. These four guys, um, I, I don't know, maybe I lost count, but, but these guys went, went behind my back, um, and, and didn't even consult me about it. I'm really upset about that. Um, I'm, I'm really upset because um, XTV is, is about unity. And I mean, I can, I can hear it already. And, and some people had you know, played nice devil's advocate with me and, and were trying to put out some things softly. And some people were playing. And as I said before, I, I still respect all these dudes. Um, but you know, they're like, well, you know, XTV, like, I mean, you guys are trying to make a living doing this. Like, so, you know, if we're going to do it for free for you, why don't we do it for free for ESEA? For me, it's about getting some fucking self-respect for yourself. That's what it's about. That's why I get pissed off when teams sign with Blight. I get pissed off when teams sign with Blight because I'm like, really? You're going to go with that guy. You're going to go with the dude who is pissed all over everybody else. That's who you're going to go with? Mm, you know? And I'm, I'm really upset that, that these people didn't even give me a chance to put in my two cents and say, you know what? Like, you got to hold ESCA to the fire. I mean, if, if ESCA doesn't have a stream of TF2, if they can't get it together for their sponsors, they're going to look bad. That's why they have to do it. And that's why they're we're probably pretty aggressive with these guys and trying to get them, but they're not paying them anything. These guys... Are, are being taken advantage of from uh, by ESEA. Now, ESEA is a, a, a for-profit league. Um, it's a, a league where there's a premium fee, where uh, the LAN, which LANs are great ideas, but the LAN is basically being funded by all these people in open. Um, the fourth place team in the LAN is not getting enough prize pot money to cover their way out there. Um, I, I know that, that funds are tight over there at ESEA, but there's a lot of players that are paying money. ESCA's got to be making some money. And they're shortchanging the community aspect. They just want it for free. That's what they want. And if, if TF2, if the community is ever going to be more than that, we've got to have a strong, 
community shoutcasting organization, and community efforts together to make shit a success. Um, I, I feel so passionate about it, and that's why XTV is what it is. I mean, that's why we're trying to do our things. That's what we're trying to build. Is we're trying to build a media organization that can make awesome shit happen for the community. Um, I-46, I, I mean, like, you know, that's a lot of sal and fundraising and sweet stuff, but we couldn't have done it without coming together. And um, this really, you know, really hurts and, and is really shitty. Um, I mean, uh, you know, some of these dudes, we had rough times in the past because of the existence of uh, the MGE organization. Um, and the MGE organization got really competitive and head to head and it was issues and people were always like, oh, why can't you guys just work together? It's like, we're trying to work together, you know? Um, we're, we're trying to do this, we're trying to be nice about things, but it's just not working out because it's combative with these dudes. And it's just really disappointing to, to, to hear that um, these people just went behind my back and, and again are, are creating divisions, an area in which I was bringing people together to do this community cast of the land together. Um, they pieced out on me, pieced out on it, um, and, and now we're going to have to have two competing streams going against each other. Um, and, and I mean, the shitty thing is it's just like, I'm, I'm trying to save them work, I'm trying to save myself work, and, and now I'm so pissed off that I'm fired up and XTV is going to be coming out gunning. I mean, we want to have a fun time doing this land coverage. We want to give hats away. Uh, we want to have our Facebook pa uh, page. We're going to be popping off the information. We're not going to have anybody at the site because we're boycotting ESCA in a sense. But we're going to be announcing like two awesome, awesome like efforts out in the community. Um, I really feel like these are big deals for stuff that's going to be happening in the future of TF2, and I'm really stoked about it. And you know, I, I'm just I'm really disappointed that that nobody discussed with me about 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 this decision um, really flabbergasted really upset and you know I'm, I'm, I'm hearing rumors of other you know kind of schismatic things and it's just really upsetting um, XTV we're trying to do good things you know in the community we're trying to be the best we're trying to bring people together we're trying to help things out I know that we're not always the best at it but we're certainly trying our fucking hardest so I mean um, it, it, it's just really shitty you know to, to kind of have to wrap up some relationships and I mean, I, I can't, I can't really trust some of those guys anymore. I mean, like I said, I, lo I love them as people, but like some of those dudes, you know, I just, I just can't trust anymore. So, um, it's really sad. It's really disappointing. Um, I mean, I, I still, you know, view fantastic things about this community. I still love everybody in this community and I know that there's a super bright future ahead. Um, and I mean, I, I'm, I'm curious what you guys think about this. I'm going to post it in some places, of course. Um, you know, want some feedback, you know, want to know what other people think about this. I mean, like, maybe I'm the asshole here. But, I mean, the thing about Eckstein, about myself, speaking in the third person, you guys see me as, like, this internet personality. That's kind of what I am, but I'm also a real fucking person. And I'm a pretty reasonable person. Um, I, I was really insulted by um, the insinuation that um, I couldn't have discussed this out with people, you know. Um, instead, you know, it's like it, we could have discussed it out. We could have made a joint statement. I could have said, hey, sure, there those guys go. Let them have fun. I'll be on for two matches. You know? Like, why not? Why not? Like, I I would like less work for myself. I would like less obligation. But, you know, the, the way that this is handled is just mind-blowing. Um, I'm really upset about it. You know, want to hear your guys' thoughts about it. I'm not, I'm not sure what else to say. Um, I, I probably should wrap it up anyways. It's, it's 14 minutes. Um, I want to get this video up tonight. Um, but I, I'm going to go to sleep, and then I'm going to go to work for 10 hours. So, yeah. Uh, thanks, guys. I'm tired, but, you know, that was helpful to blow off some steam to you guys. I already, I already ranted to the wife, um, and I think I needed it. So, um, thanks. I'll see you guys on Saturday. I mean, I'm probably going to be MIA. I'll uh, definitely try to post a hype video tomorrow, um, but you know, planning is definitely taking a setback, and I can't really promise anything anymore with uh, this weekend. Um, definitely planning on being there. Definitely planning on getting the wheels back in motion, but uh, a lot of people that I was going to lean on for uh, support just uh, ditched me. So that's awesome. Uh, but no hate. I love you guys. Love everybody. Somehow, some way. 
Uh, thanks for watching. Keep on playing, players. Keep on playing.